anything we can do to make people more aware and even if it's just a, a small percentage of the population, if someone acts a little bit different around it, that could change everything. And Effingham County officials are pushing a new bill they say could prevent accidents like the deadly tanker crash that impacted one central Illinois community. The effort comes almost nine months after an anhydrous ammonia leak in Tutopolis. Five people died and seven were hurt. Our state capitol reporter Theodora Kulavaris is live in our capitol newsroom. Theodora, this idea isn't new. That's right, Jennifer, it's not. First responders go through hazardous material awareness training and information on transporting hazardous materials is included in the study guide for people looking to get their commercial driver's licenses in Illinois. And they say that this is a good opportunity to educate all drivers about what they should do and what they should know about hazardous materials on the roadways. After a deadly tanker truck crash into Topolis last year, James Neiman says officials talked about what they could do better if a tragedy like this happened in the future. He remembered his time as a police officer years ago when he taught first responders about hazardous material awareness. Kind of like the same thing you teach in kindergarten. If it's not yours, don't touch it. <laughs> if you don't know what it is, stay away from it. That's when they got an idea. Teach drivers about it too. Knowledge is power. If if they're if they don't know about it, you can't avoid it. If if we make them a little more aware of it, they they can stay out of the stay out of danger. Now he's pushing for a bill aimed at doing just that. It would require the Secretary of State to include information on transporting hazardous materials in the rules of the road book. That includes an image and description of hazardous placards. They're diamond-shaped placards used on vehicles carrying hazardous materials. Those include explosives and flammable and combustible liquid. About 5% of the, of the um, motor carriers, the commercial carriers, are carrying hazardous materials that have to be placarded. That just to be aware of what's out there and when you see those that it's just like a railroad crossing, you have to be a little more cautious. In October, the National Transportation Safety Board released an initial report about the tanker truck crash on Route 40. They found that a car trying to pass the truck in a no-passing zone caused the crash. At the same time, another vehicle was driving in the opposite direction. I think if people realize that even if you don't hit the vehicle itself, if you maneuver in a way that causes a vehicle with hazardous materials to crash or, or go off the road, you could cause horrible uh, loss of life and horrible injuries to other people inadvertently. The bill has made progress. It passed the Senate with unanimous support and is now in the House for further consideration. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Theodora Lavaris, WCIA 3, your local news leader. Theodora, thank you so much. Like I said, five people died from getting exposed to anhydrous ammonia at the scene. It included three from central Illinois, 34-year-old Kenneth Bryan and his two children, Rosie and Walker. The other two were from Missouri and Ohio. Seven people were seriously hurt and in the hospital, five were released within three weeks of the crash. The remaining two are in the hospital for nearly three months. All the victims had chemical burns to their eyes, lungs, and respiratory systems.